Hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy Monster Man Rocco. It's your boy Swagger Rock. This is Snack Ripper. And you have to go to don't know. Master A. You are not rocking with the best. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio. Let's go. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't know. Fuck strange music, man. So, I, I was like, okay, cool. You know? That was dope. And then it's like, I had to learn also. So, you know, Alchemist, you know, he would always give me a few words, like, even because I think right after self titled I did the album with Mayhem. Yeah, Mayhem. And he was like, yo, this album is dope. Yeah, he's like, yo, this album is dope. Don't stop. Yo, just keep it going. You can't never stop putting out music. And right now, I understand it because of, you know, hanging with Flea Lord. And it's like, Flea Lord drops the project every month. You know, and I think it's incredible because, like, you have to have, you have to really be creative, you know, and have, have the drop to drop an album every month. Regardless if you're selling, we're not in the age where we're selling a million records. Like, seeing Griselda, they open up the doors where underground dudes can sell 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 4,000, whatever. But when you're doing that every month, you're moving the same thing. It kind of equals up to, like, you know, what people are used to. Yeah, it's amazing. No. A lot of those so you mentioned Griselda, but a lot of the uh, those like I guess like Buffalo rappers and uh, upstate New York rappers and that underground yeah, scene that's El coming Camino. out. Is... El, El, El Camino always has one in the chamber. All you know, it's like I look at it and it feels fun because it's like I feel like I'm a student of the game again because it's always something I'm learning and it's like and I'm meeting so many dudes who are dope. Like even with Rashid Chappelle, this is another guy. Like and I'm just like, yo, this is crazy. You got so many people who rap and they rap for real and it's like no one's really walking around saying, oh, this is whack and this person is this and it's like, this ain't it. And it's like, nah, B, they just appreciate everybody and what they bring to the table. So it's not really a lot of calls for us like, oh, this ain't really hitting, even though, you know, it could be whispers around. But, you know, when you have all these people who are rising to the top, man, this is the most incredible thing because now you have something that's about to be amazing. You know, I didn't even know. Like, when I did the album with Pounds, all, all these guys, the young dudes, was telling me, like, yo, the album is ridiculous, it's phenomenal, it's this, it's this, it's that. We all project, it was the same thing. And now I feel like, I feel like 90s doing remixes with, like, you know, you're dropping remixes and people are really appreciating them. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, man, if I could keep doing this, this would be amazing. It doesn't age you, you know, because any time when it's like, when you can come in and with the younger guys who are there, and you can make music for them on, on their way. This keeps you going. You know? Yeah. The fact that you have albums so, with, like, Flea Lord, for example, it's, like, a testament to how much you're able to actually keep up with what's currently coming out. Um, I, I think one of the biggest criticisms of today versus, like, the 90s is just the, the floodgates are open, and it's, it's kind of watered down. There's so much material getting put out day after day. How, how do you end up keeping up with a lot of this shit? Well, like I said, for me, it's like I'm a fan of the music. You know, it's always been competitive for us, and it's like looking at the guys who are there. You know, you want to be mentioned great and greatness, and it's like when I see, you know, you, you know, these, the younger dudes praising, you know, the album and the beats, like, yo, who did these beats and these beats? Like, that's my testament that makes me feel good. Yeah. You know, I have my people from my time, and that's cool, but and to a sense, it's, 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 it's not a thing where it's like their opinion doesn't count. But when you're in a younger generation, they're the consumer, so their opinion counts more. Yeah, no doubt. You know? So, and, and I love it, man. It's like, because looking at it, a lot of these guys I was fans of when I first heard Pounds, I was a fan of him. You know, Aaron Benny and, and Conway and, and Westside, I was a fan of them also. So, you know, it's, it's not having an album, but it's like, you know, on other projects that I you know, have coming, we have records together, and it's like, it's just so dope. And it's like, and even for me to see the way Al orchestrates what he's doing, 